guys, I'm only there. And welcome to some the 39 steps, a digital adaptation of John Buchan's espionage thriller. This is more of kind of a narrative story game, whatever. And yeah, let's just go ahead. Rotate your mouse clockwise to advance the text. Let's see, clockwise. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I failed to... What? There we go, thank you. What? I didn't get the text, but I, I don't know. The wrong ditch. Richard Henney is living in London, England. He yearns for a more interesting life. Uh... Play. The wrong ditch. The wrong ditch, the right bitch. Hey oh Monday, 18th of May, 1914. London, England. I returned from the city on that May afternoon, pretty well disgusted with life. I had been three months in the old country and was fed up with it. Oh, what a beautiful room. It is so darned in here. <gasps> it's ghost. Honey, you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend. And you had better climb out. Whatever does you mean? Does <laughs> whatever does you mean? What? Oh, I can choose the carer, the soldier, the working man. Let's see. Oh my God, he is espionage dude. Maybe he is a working man. I had earned my pile, not one of the big ones, but good enough for me. I had put in three years prospecting for copper in German Dammerland, and spoke the German tongue pretty fluently. I went on to become a mining engineer at Kimberley, where I was instrumental to the formation of De Beers consoli Consolidated Mines. The diamond mines were a rough business, with countless good men lost in horrific accidents. Oh, okay, so you can read about his life or something. I served the British force during the Metabel conflict and was decorated for my role. I served two years with the Imperial Light Horse and was an intelligence officer at Delagoa Bay in the Second Boer War. I lost many friends during those wars. So sad. The teenager. I spent much of my time by the Zambezi where I could fish. There are several hundred species in, in its waters, including the infamous tigerfish and the Zambezi shark. The wide open spaces of the Veld also interested me greatly, and the various methods of survival in such an uncompromising landscape. The Carer. My final years in Africa were in the municipality of Bulawayo, where I had fought during the Matabele War. I resided once again with my father, who had taken ill. After he died, I decided to, l I decided to leave the Cape and head back to the old country. The present. A lot of imperialist, imperialist ladies asked me to tea to meet schoolmasters from New Zealand and editors from Vancouver, and that was the most dismal business of all. I had no real pal, pal to go with, to go about with, which probably explains things. Plenty of people invited me to their houses, but they didn't see much interest in me. I had counted on stopping in London for the rest of my days, but from the first I was disappointed with it. I was the best bored man in l England. Child. He passed unearthed. My father had brought me out from Scotland to South Africa at the age of six, and I had never been home since. I grew up in the Cape Colony, which was then under British rule. Alright. Richard Hannay, we know your story. Here was I, 37 years old, sound in wind and limb, with enough money to have a good time, yawning my head off all day. Drink the whiskey. 
smoked the pop. I had a long drink and read the evening papers. They were full of the row in the Near East, and there was an article about Carolites, the Greek premier. From all accounts, he seemed the, the one big man in the show, and he played a straight game too, which is more than could be said for most of them. Oh, so fancy though. Yes, there's ham and chicken, turkey, and a fireplace. Someone had loaded the cylinder player. I felt a deep nostalgia for my homeland of Scotland as Annie Laurie filled the room. Oh, that's cool. We can actually. Ooh. Can we open? Oh, we can zoom in, alright. The British informer Hun Huntley and Palmer's ginger, ginger nuts. Tensions in the Near East, Balkan affairs test Europe. Is this the same thing? Weak and anyway, heavy rain. Something. Empire's celebrations. Ahoy! Rain won't stop this show. Oh, uh, Empire Celebrations Ahoy. Londoners' spirits are undampened by reports of bad weather during this Saturday's Empire Day celebrations. On the contrary, record numbers are expected to turn out for the Hyde Park Parade and similar other events across the Empire. Let's read the text here too. Carolides keeps strong. A keen ally of Britain, Greek Premier Constantine Carolides lies at the heart of the top power politics of the region. Defeated in London and hated in Berlin and Vienna, the Foreign Office has long regarded him oh, what, what's <laughs> as the only s strong head in a notoriously unpredictable region. So is there any other text here? No? What's with the bag? Uh, nothing, I suppose. Maybe there's a mark on it or something. No, I don't think so. It's just here for purposes. All right, let's go back. Oh wait, we can okay, oh we can look inside. Show text. Presented to Richard Hannay, intelligence office, Marabel War, 1897, soldier of the British Empire. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're done here, I suppose. No, okay. We can actually... Oh, secret! Let's explore. The Observer, London, Sunday, May 17th, 1914. Oh. Let's see. And this one. Big flying races. At the beginning of a series of very important contests. It may be interesting to compare British and German programs and methods. Next Saturday the Aerial Derby will be flown. Last year out of a field of 11, Gustav Hummel wo won, covering the 90 mile circuit of outer London at the average speed of 76 miles per hour. Alright, let's go. Let's see, do you wanna... No, no, oh my god, I don't want to read this whole paper. <laughs> um, the map, maybe? Yes! Doesn't really do much, though. No, wait, okay. We can look at the map. Dominion of Canada. Is that what it's called? What? Comparative area of British possessions in different countries. Canada, Australia, Africa, India, and the British Isles, alright. Uh, go back. Let's see, is there anything more in here? A chair? No wait, I've already been here. Back. 
this here. I actually think I'm done here. Uh, since of these three little yellow stuff down here. I think they kind of notify me that I'm finished here. You're finished! Alright, I'm done here. Ding dong ding dong ding dong. In English Gentleman Club. Oh, let's go to the Royal Club together. About six o'clock I went home. I should train on my um, English accent or British accent. Oh, let's go to Green Park. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cavendish Square. Oh, we went to the Cavendish Street. Cavendish. Oh, so many good memories. My flat was the first floor in a new block behind Langham Place. Enter. Enter the apartment. There was no restaurant or anything of that sort. And each flat was quite shut down off from the others. And oh, let's take the lift to our flat. Or story. Oh, I want to examine. Mainly, yo. Always fun. <laughs> uh, Richard Henney, this is ours. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to translate this. Dear Richard, how is London? I do hope Paddock is lo looking after you well, and that your luck on the horses is lasting, lasting out. Ten to one it is. Now here's a tale for you. Last month in the Kalahari I found myself in a tight spot. After two days in o on the plane I lost my way and could not find the river. I was forced to go without water for three days and five without a morsel of food save for a few mopane worms. An excellent source of protein which steered me away from starvation. Then I ran into an old chief of to whom I owed money. Because of my debt he refused to help me so I had to continue on my feet. The desert is not kind to any man, but I made it out and a man in Tang Tanganyaka sold me a Rhodesian Ridgeback which will be my partner in my future hunts. I have named the animal Shaka after the old Sulu chief and I will take him to the Congo with me where I go for the elephants. I plan to leave next week if I can get my new rifle finished in time. Yours, Peter Pienaar. Oh my god, don't shoot the uh, elephants. That's, that's bad. Okay, so it's just the same letter. Uh, I don't think... Can we... Let's see... I don't think we can check on <laughs> anyone else's mail. No, nice. Alright, let's ascend. Oh, open the door. <laughs> I don't know why I go for that stupid Wingard of Leviathan instead. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, so beautiful. <laughs> so good at drawing, though. Oh, I'm in my, fl my flat. Oh, so many good memories. Oh, damn. That's me home. I'll be heading out for dinner. Oh, Paddock, my butler. I collected Paddock. <laughs> I hate servants on the premises, so I had a fellow to look after me who came in by the day. He arrived before eight o'clock every morning and used to depart at seven, for I uh, for I never dined at home. Yeah. Um. <gasps> I'm invisible. Oh, I am the Hollow Man. You're all alone, Mr. Rally. Onwards, our adventure goes to um, Warwick Street. That evening, I dined at the Cafe Royal. And then headed elsewhere for entertainment. <laughs> so I don't know why the frame rate is like super bad. The frame rate is like six or something. Which is like what? Alhambra. Chupacabra. Alhambra. Hamburguesa. 
an evening's entertainment. Alright. Leicester Square. On this particular evening, I wanted to Leicester Square, where the uh, most rep or where the more rep resplendent theater of varieties, varieties could be found. A show at Alhambra caught my eye, though one could never be quite sure of the act until it had been seen. Oh, so true, so true. Music halls. The countless music halls of London were one of were one way of passing the evening away. Forces of all styles played. A conspicuous part in a week's bill. I'm done. It was a silly show. I did not stay long. This person seems like a very cynical person who has a very, very sad life. Yeah, my frame rate has gone up to like 20, 17, something. 17 is the max. On the way home, I gave half a crown to a beggar because I saw him yawn. He was a fellow sufferer. <laughs> so cynical. I uh, made a vow I, I would give the old country another day to fit me into something. Oh, uh, I'm Richard Hannay, whatever my name is. I'm better than everyone else. Far better, yes. If nothing happened, I would take the next boat for the Cape. New event, an unlikely visitor. Achievement unlocked, the wrong ditch. <gasps> Alright, so we're done with one of these. And uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. Maybe we'll do one of these per episode, I don't know. It depends on how long they are. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Gracias por ver. I wish you find us, David Dudes. And until next time, hasta luego.